Hello traders, welcome to another video in this tutorial series. We will be talking about rejection blocks. What are rejection blocks? A rejection block refers to a price level or a zone where price has shown a significant rejection. We identify this rejection block as the weak of the candlestick of the candle extremes at major high and major lows. This is a rejection block here. 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 Okay, take a look at this one. You can see price returned to it to pick a trade. Price came back into the rejection block. So, we, we will now add a function. I, I, I already wrote a function that such as and the uh, stores the information pertaining to this rejection block to our existing code. So before we go further, how profitable are this rejection blocks? This is the backtest result of uh, my rejection block EA for the past two years. You can see from um, 2023 and um, 2024, it's returned 70% um, profit, 69%, 69.7 seven win rate on all trades, um, 19 consecutive wins, a nice SRE, 5% uh, drawdown, 6% uh, equity drawdown. Um, this is on um, uh, 0 0.01 lots on a $1,000 account. So uh, let's get to our code now. And okay, also, um, as you can see, the FTMO trading challenge simulation included in the you would have won five out of your six challenges, which is 83.3% in an average duration of 418 days as. Um, you can see the, the input is here you can so let's get to our code and <clears throat> so what do we do the first thing um unlike fair value gaps and other block with rejection blocks we have um, two types you have the blue the this is our rejection block but you can see this rejection block formed on a bearish candle. Even though it's a bullish rejection block, it formed on a bearish candle. This is also a bullish rejection block, but it formed on a bullish candle. So um, with your normal with your normal eyes, you can just quickly identify these spots. For the code, for the EA to identify it, you have to write a code that identifies this scenario and a different code that identifies this scenario. So we're going to call this the, um, I'm working with the premise that this is a red candlestick and this is a green candlestick. So this is going to be a bullish red rejection block. This will be a bullish green rejection block. So we define them here, bullish green, we, you know, well, we collect three values, the high value, the low value, and the time value. So we define the bullish green, the bullish red, the same thing applies for the bearish. We, we have the bearish red and the bearish green. So I also defined the inputs values. So uh, now that we have the arrays, uh, we have the inputs uh, in the initialization function. We're going to set this arrays as a series. 
So now that um, the arrays has been set as a series, we jump to the code for the rejection block. So uh, MQL reads and you see, we're going to take the, we're going to work with rate two. Why rate two? This is it. So this block is going to be identified at the close of this candle when you have, this is rate one, this is rate two, this is rate three. So when rate two is lower than rate one and lower than rate three. Yeah, you see, Reach two is lower than reach three, and reach two is lower than reach one, and reach two close is greater than reach two open, which makes this a bullish. Uh, uh, okay, that's good for a, a green. Oh, that's good for a green. So, which makes this a bullish? So, that's good for this. So, we for the other one you see oh this is defined as a bearish candle but the conditions for the week still remain the same and we store them in the arrays same for the bearish red and the bearish green rejection blocks uh i also wrote out the invalidation logic for the rejection blocks just like we have for the um other blocks i'm going to in the next before the next video i'm going to up, update the fair value gaps with the rejection block uh, with the invalidation code and this new code so now that uh we can see we now that you can see the code that's let's see how the rejection block looks on the charts sorry i'm skipping it's been a long day i'm tired and um okay so this is the ea here let's go to the visual mode you can see the rejection blocks are being printed and oftentimes price returns you can see this makes a good entry you get one two three four five consecutive bullish candlesticks from the street and this is the one hour time frame same here you get two candlesticks here you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve hour trade just from one pullback to this rejection block you can see it's a really sound look at this it gives you a good entry so that's why uh you saw the 70 percent win rates from the expert advisor so this is where we are going to stop this lesson in the next tutorial we're going to create a structure and a comment so in the structure we're going to look we're going to um the EA is going to manage the information we've collected from the rejection block, from the fair value gap and uh, other blocks. Then we're going to comment it out on the screen. So we're going to have the last five fair value gaps, the last five other blocks, and the last five. Okay, since we are bullish and bearish, we're going to have the last two bullish, the last two bullish and the last two bearish fair value gaps. The last two bullish and the last two bearish other blocks the last two bullish and the last two bearish rejection blocks then we have this commented out on the screen so you can see and uh you have a structure that manages them and from there they can be implemented into the expert advice or to take trades so uh we'll do that in the next video i hope you have enjoyed this video this code would be available for download on this hub if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to comment subscribe like and share with your friends and i'll see you in the next video